Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to talk about a PDF, PDF viewer for Linux. So let's get to it. So right now I'm in my real bare metal computer, Arch Linux, with the awesome window manager. And at work, at my day job, my real job, we use Windows 10 and quite often I have to deal with PDFs. Now I don't have to mark them up or edit them or put signatures on them or anything like that. What I have to do is read them and print them. And quite often I'll have a 500 page PDF and I don't have to print the whole thing. There's only certain pages I need to print. So what I'll do is I'll open it in Adobe, scan through it and print the pages that I need. So right now I'm in Windows 10 and I'm actually going to open up a real PDF. So I've opened up a PDF in Adobe because this is Windows 10, of course, right? And what I did was I downloaded the installation guide from Arch Linux. It's 10 pages long and I downloaded it as a PDF and it's open in Adobe and this is what you get. Number one, you get all this garbage on the side at the bottom you get free day seven trial oh because if you pay for it you get more features right and then there's the stupid ai assistant and sometimes when i'm working this thing pops out in front of my face can't stand it and it's so heavy and bloated so this document here is only now you can see here and actually, you know what? My face is blocking it. So you can see down here, we can uh, minimize it. We can maximize it. Here's my print button and so forth. And here's to save it. So like I said, this is only a 10 page document. So quite often I'll have a 500 page document that I have to view and there might only be 50 pages that I want to print and but those 50 pages will be scattered throughout the whole document so I'll have to scan down and I'll scan down page by page and oh I need to print this page so I'll do control P and it brings up this page and of course I don't want to click all 500 pages right so I'll click on current I'll click on print and it will print the current page and then that goes away and then I'll start scanning down again. Oh, and I need to print this page. So I'll do control P, but automatically it goes to print all pages. So then I'll have to click on current, click on print and print the page again. And then I go through the whole 500 page document like that. And sometimes because by default, it's always on all. So sometimes I'll forget to click on current and it starts printing all the pages and I have to run to the photocopy machine and cancel the printing. Plus, plus this AI assistant sometimes starts going like this and starts flashing in my face. I'm like, oh, I can't stand it. So now I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the Qtile window manager. And I discovered a nice PDF program. Now the thing is, is that I've been using Linux for uh, four and a half years and I am the Linux Mensch. And there are several PDF uh, viewers for Linux and some of them automatically come installed if you are using a user-friendly or easy to use Linux distribution like Linux Mint or Manjaro or MX Linux or Antex Linux. But the thing is, is that I never bothered with PDF viewers because number one, if you're using something like Firefox and you download a PDF into your uh, computer, you can view the PDF in Firefox, and I think you could probably view it in most web browsers. And secondly, at home, 
That's where I'm using Linux. I'm using Linux at home. I don't deal with PDFs because at home, I'm not doing office work. I mean, the odd time I'll have a PDF, but it'd be very rare. And like I said, when I was using Linux Mint full time, there was a PDF viewer in there, but I never bothered with it. Anyways, I found a nice PDF viewer. It comes with the GNOME package, but you don't have to be running the GNOME desktop environment to use it. So like I said, right now I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the QTAL window manager. I'm going to go and install that PDF viewer and take a look at the same document. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let's open up Firefox. Now in QTAL, you don't use your mouse. So I'm going to do mod key F and that's going to open up Firefox. I'm going to go to Arch Linux and I'm going to type in E V and it's right here. So how do you pronounce that? Events. Let's click it on. So it was updated May 26. So it's not an old program and it's part of the GNOME group. So if you download the whole GNOME desktop environment, it's going to be installed automatically. But like I said, you don't have to be using the GNOME desktop environment to use it. And like we can see here, it was last updated May 26, which was just a month and a half ago. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up my terminal and I'm going to type sudo pacman s and how do you spell it v e v i n c e let's put my password in and let's hit enter and it's installing it it's only going to take a second to oh that was fast so let's close that let's restart this and let's open up pc man fm so here we are, we're in PC Man FM and I already downloaded the installation guide, the same one that I was showing you in Windows. It's a 10 page document. So let's just right click it and let's open with, let's click on document viewer and click on this so it always opens with it. And let's make that, well, let's just get rid of this. So here we are, this is it. Now you can see up here and it's kind of dark because I'm in dark mode. <laughs> one of 10 pages so there's 10 pages now i don't like to have this sidebar here maybe you do so you can see there's 10 pages there right so what i'm going to do is click on this click on this little icon here where it says side panel and it gets rid of it so you can see there's one to ten and change this hundred percent to fit page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to print this page so i'm going to do Control p and I'm going to click on current and I'm going to click on print. Now I'm going to use my page down button to go down. Okay, I don't want that page. I don't want that page. Oh, but I want this page. So I'm going to do control P. And the beautiful thing about this is that it remembers that I'm on current page. See here how it's automatically on current page. I love that. It remembers that I'm on current page. So I don't have to worry about accidentally printing a 500 page document. I don't have to run to the photocopy room to cancel my print job. And I don't have to use the mouse to hit print. I just hit enter and it prints it. Now, another thing I like about this is that let's say I accidentally shut down the document. When I'm using Adobe in uh, Windows, if I accidentally shut down the document, and reopen the document, I'm on page one. Now that's troublesome if I'm working my way through a 500 page document and I'm only print printing certain pages that I need. It's a real hassle. So you can see here, we're on page five and look at this. This is the page we're on. Let's say I accidentally close. Well, let's close it and see what happens. Let's close it. Now let's re reopen PC Man FM and let's open the PDF. Let's make that full screen and look at that. We're on page five. See that it has memory. So it opens on the last page you were on the last time you used a PDF, which is fantastic because quite a few times when I was using Adobe and I was working my way through a 500 page document, I accidentally shut it. 
And when I reopened the document, it was on page one. And I had to scan down page, through all the pages trying to figure out where I left off. This is fantastic. Now, another thing that I like about it is this. So if you click on this icon, you have all these different options here. You have a print screen. You can make it full screen, which will get rid of your bottom bar down here. Uh, you have rotate. Let's see, we can rotate it. Let's just do it one more time. We have here uh, night mode, which I would never use, but maybe you like night mode. Properties, save as, and so forth. And of course, there's no AI thing popping in my face. So I actually used this program at work. I logged into a virtual machine of Arch Linux, and I printed a PDF. I think it was 130 pages, but I didn't print the whole thing. I just used my page down button to select the pages I needed. And every time I came to a page that I needed, I did Control P. And this page came up, and it always remembers I want to print the current page. And like I said, I don't have to hit the print button with my mouse. I just hit enter button, and it's printed. And just if we go here about document viewer, we can see it's called document viewer, but it's events. It's a simple document viewer for GNOME. But like I said, you don't have to be running GNOME. You don't even have to have GNOME installed. Like for instance, in this virtual machine, I don't have the GNOME desktop installed. I just have, uh, this is Arch Linux. And right now I'm in the Qtile window manager. I also have the awesome window manager installed in this virtual machine. But right now we're in Qtile. And that's it. In this video, I talked about how I use Adobe Acrobat at work in Windows 10 to view PDFs and how sometimes I have to scan through a 500 page PDF and select certain pages to print and how much of a hassle it is using Adobe Acrobat, how heavy it is, how it has AI and how I discovered events, which is a PDF viewer for Linux. It's lightweight, it's easy to use, and it's fantastic. And it comes installed with the GNOME desktop environment, but you don't have to be running GNOME to use it. You can use it in Arch Linux. You can use it in Qtile window manager, awesome window manager, any window manager, or any desktop environment. It's easy to use, it's lightweight, and it has two fantastic things that I like. Number one, it has memory. So if you're in the middle of a document and you accidentally close the application, when you reopen events, it brings you right back to the page where you left off. It has memory. Because when I was used to print my 500 page documents and I was scanning through them and only printing select pages, sometimes I'd accidentally close the app and when I reopen it, I'm back on page one. But events is fantastic because if you close your app and reopen the document, it remembers where you left off. Secondly, when you're printing from events, you don't have to use your mouse. Control P to print and enter. And the very first time you're in a document and you go to print it, the very first time you click on current page, every time you go to print a page in that document, it's going to remember that you're on current page so you don't accidentally print the whole thing because when I was using Adobe Acrobat in Windows if I was in a 500 page document and I'm printing a current page the next time I went to select a page it would automatically go to print all pages and I'd have to remember to use my mouse to click on current page and sometimes I forgot and I went to print all the pages and I had to run and shut off the printer so anyways I really love events. I think it's a fantastic PDF viewer for Linux. It's free and open source, and I suggest you give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.